What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a kick-ass day today. It's your boy Alex and today we're finally gonna be checking out Alien. A movie from 1979! Can you shut the fuck up? Let's go. My mind going crazy, losing focus. And right now I'm crazy, feeling hopeless. Dude, it's a good day! Got some Skittles right here. Got some prime right here, you know, it's just gonna be a, a fantastic day. And we are just coming off of Interstellar, literally the video went up today. So these last couple movies have been very space oriented, but on the polls on Patreon, they were so stupid close. And it's perfect because I believe this is a horror movie. I don't know anything about this, dude. I can kind of foresee it's gonna be about some alien creatures sucking some people's brains. Oh my oh, God, wow. No. Maybe something of the sort. I don't know. One thing I do know, Skittles are amazing. Oh, fuck. So guys, as always, if you want access to the full length movies, link to the Patreon will be at the top of the description. You can also click that link and help me decide what we watch next. Let's go! Oh, all right. Damn. It's already that old school ass Fox intro. Tom Skerritt. <laughs> 30 minutes in, it's still the intro. This is a long ass intro. Okay, holy shit. 20 million tons of horror. My God. It's gotta be interplanetary travel, right? I mean, we're going to other planets to pick up resources and assets. 20 million tons of ore. Jesus Christ. The thing about these 70s movies, man, it's like, it takes a while to get going. They set the scene, they set the tone, taking their sweet ass time. Nowadays, every movie, you're right in the action immediately because everyone's attention spans like a goddamn wombat. What the hell? What the hell is thrusting in the background? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Little, uh, what is that? A little hyperbolic sleep? Going under for the long nap? Those pods don't actually look half bad. Okay, I'm gonna ask it. If you got nine dudes around in pods and they've been sleeping forever, what are the chances none of them wake up with an erection? It's, <laughs> it's important questions like that we need to know the answers to. I don't think that that's historically accurate. We were all thinking it. Smoking, eating cereal? Hell yeah, dude. I think we ought to discuss the bonus situation. Right. Brett and right. I, we think we ought to, we deserve full shares, right? right? Well, you get what you contracted for like everybody else. Why, y'all getting paid less? Yes, but everybody else uh, gets more than us. Uh, uh, wants to talk <laughs> That's a life lesson, seriously. Look in your contracts, especially for work, because your bosses will try to fuck you out of some shit. Happened to me, 100%. I had a boss that literally tried to fuck me out of thousands and thousands of dollars for a Christmas bonus. He's like, nope, I'm gonna play Scrooge McDuck, stroke my Willis, and not give you your money. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Read your contracts. Can I, can I finish my coffee? Mm. Yeah. It's the only thing good on this ship. <laughs> Morning, mother. Mother? What the hell? Oh, like, like the mothership? That's my mom's name in my phone. This is commercial towing vehicle Nostromo. Stupid ass question. Is there like air traffic control whenever you're out in space? Is that a thing? Damn, I never thought of that. Seems she has intercepted a transmission of unknown origin. She got us up to check it out. <laughs> it's not my contract to do this kind of duty. Now you're relying on the contract. My contract doesn't say that I need to do this. It tells me how much I need to get paid, but fuck that provision. If you want to give me some money to do, I'd be happy to. <laughs> Yeah, because you're poor as shit. Boy already didn't like his contract. I don't want to hear it. We don't know that's intelligent. I want to go home and party. <laughs> Dude, you're a terrible employee. Why are you asking to get paid more? You don't do shit. I'll tell you what, man. Going from Interstellar to this, graphically, huge mistake. <laughs> totally respect the era of the movie. 100%, right? It's slow, though. It's slower. Fucking bring out the drugs or have sex on the plane. Kill somebody already. Let's get it going. Okay. Didn't seem like that harsh of a landing. What the hell's going on? Somebody give me a straight answer! I landed before it was functional. What what was what? 17 hours, fella. That's so exact. I mean that's not a bad tactic. Under promise over perform? Very important life lesson I've learned. We can't go anywhere in this. Well mother says the sun's coming up in 20 minutes. I wouldn't call the ship mother. Call her like Hildy or something. Tanya. You know? Better break out the weapons. Okay, we know there's gonna be some aliens in here. It's gonna be sick. I wanna see aliens murder some people. Why do I say those things? I am kinda interested to see that though. Fuck that. Hey Ripley! 
What the hell? He just light a cigarette with a drill? They're looking for her out there. That mean we get full shit? Don't Will y'all fuck off? You're terrible workers. Y'all are gonna probably die anyway. Let's be honest. Why don't you just fuck off? Yeah, no kidding. Then what'd you say you were- Fuck off is what she said. I hope the aliens kill them first. Can't see a goddamn thing. You said that already, Lambert. I know I said I couldn't see anything earlier back there, but I, guys, I can't see anything. Lambert, we heard you. Oh shit, she's trying to crack the code before the computer. Let's go. Cat. Oh, is that why in Men in Black they had a cat? Because it was like a parody of this movie? Oh, shit. Maybe I should have watched this first. Let's get out of here. We've got this far. We must go on. What the hell is that? Totally reminds me of the elephant graveyard from Lion King, yes? Yes? <laughs> Come on, I wanna see some aliens fuck people up! Come on down here, something different down here. See if we can get up that wall, if we can get up that wall, we can find out. The thing about sci-fi movies is it's laced with like some reality. The scary thing about these things is like this shit could actually probably happen. I don't know what the hell's about to happen, so take that with a grain of salt, but for the majority of sci-fi movies, I feel like that's the truth. Oh shit, is that a giant skeleton? Alien life form. Looks like it's been dead a long time. Yo. Let's get the hell out of here. Some kind of damn elongated snout man. Creepy as hell. 30 minutes into the damn movie, where are the aliens? I'm so excited to see the aliens. Oh shit, was that one of them? Okay. Ash. Mother's deciphered part of it. It doesn't look like an SOS. Well, what is it then? Well, I, it looks like a warning. Uh-oh. Can you see anything? A, ca a cave of some sort. Yeah, no shit. Aren't you going down into a cave? And it's full of leathery objects like eggs or something. Oh. Oh, shit. Are those alien eggs? Oh no. Things that have eggs- <laughs> I was about to say, things that have eggs are disgusting, but humans have eggs. Do not try to break it open. Fuck! I hate jump scares. Wait a minute, this moment. Oh no, dude, get the hell out of there. Seems to have a life. Oh! Dude, if something looks like that, you don't approach it. Ew, that looks like it's fucking tongue. It looks like a demogorgon, dude. <laughs> I get scared, I get pissed, and then I get goosebumps. The hell is that about? I'm not sure if that was the whole damn alien itself or one of the babies inside of it. Wait, where's the other one? They just said, fuck it, he's gone? I don't think it's attached itself to him. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. Open the hatch. Wait a minute. No. You open the goddamn hatch. We have to get him inside. Do not let that beast of a creature in. Oh no. Please don't open up and then burst into a million little aliens, dude. Ew. Looks like a girl you meet at the fish market had an infection. Uh. My God. Oh! Oh no! Ew, dude, he's just sucked to his face. How is he? How is he? How does How does he look? I feel like fire always works well. Take flame to his face. Oh, he's not. The alien's not gonna like that. Oh, I don't think this is gonna go well. No, oh! Nice. That thing's disgusting, dude. It makes me sick. Now, we're assuming it's feeding him oxygen. If we remove it, it could kill him. Well, it doesn't seem like the proper plan to leave it there. I won't even take that chance. Just cut it off from that. Ew, that glaze on that thing is disgusting looking. Oh! Gosh. Ew! Oh, shit! That crap can eat through the hole. Why would you dumbasses let that thing on the ship? If it eats through all that, like, what are you gonna use to capture it? I not say anything like that except, uh, molecular acid. It must be using it for blood. What about Cain? What about Cain? Toss him out the ship! It's the only answer. Well, the sooner we patch this thing up and get out of here, the sooner we can go home. This place gives me the creeps. How's, uh, how's Cain? He's holding, no changes. And, uh, our guest? <laughs> don't call him your guest. Shedding his cells and replacing them with... Polarized silicon. Well, it's an interesting combination of elements making him a tough little son of a bitch. And you let him in. That's what she wanted. She wanted the I told you so. Maybe I should have left him outside. I think so. I think that was the move. I think you should have a look at Kane. Right. Something's happened. Oh, God. What is happening? I swear, if I see that alien just thrusting on his face, I'm. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's gone? 
Oh no, don't go in there like that! You don't have any protective equipment! Ah, oh, you idiots. You straight up idiots. Is it inside of him? <sighs> Fuck! Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is not good for my heart. I hate these jump scare movies, dude. Ah, so exhausting. Oh shit, I just dropped all my Skittles. I feel like the thing's inside of him. No? It's where I would be if I were an alien. I'm gonna go inside of him. Kane? Oh, 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 fuck, dude! Ew! Ew. Seems dead enough. Well, good, let's get rid of it. It's not dead. Dallas, it has to go back. But you're the science officer, you're decision ash. Dallas? Look, I just wanna get the hell out of here, all right? Okay. Well, what happens if this creature has babies? And they're on the ship, and then you're flying through space and you can't get them out. Is that the- I feel like I remember whenever I said something about that actress being the warden in Holes, I think a lot of people were like, You haven't seen Alien? Is that right? Is that her? I think so, yeah. Wow. She always plays like that intimidating woman character. Very masculine woman. Are these dudes smoking joints? How far do you? Ten months. Oh god. Jesus, are you serious? Yes. Dallas, I think you should come and see Kane. <coughs> How you doing? Thank you. Terrific. Next silly question. <laughs> anyway, where are we? Right here. We're on our way home. Yeah, back to the old Freezerinos. <laughs> <laughs> what? And back to the old, uh, Freezerinos. Dude's kind of sick, actually. I mean, could be worse, right? Ten months, you got a bunch of people around, you got some food, can sit around bullshit, smoke, look at fucking aliens sucking each other's faces. Like, it's not bad. No, he's gonna vomit up the, the, th the alien. I knew the fucking thing was in him, isn't it? Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh my god! Ew, what the? It looks like a cock with grills! What the hell? Jesus, Mary Joseph. Okay, well, dude's dead. Wait, that was a small one, though. Did that. I don't know. I guess the fucking alien could have gone into his body, had babies. I don't know. Anybody want to say anything? You should have listened to that chick at the beginning. Never let that fuck ass creature on the plane. This is just an ordinary prod, like a cattle prod. Just make damn sure nobody puts their hand on the end of it. Like this. <laughs> I like how this dude always has a joint hanging out of his mouth. Probably not a joint, but we're gonna call it like it is. That's what it looks like. Can anyone see this thing you catch it in the net that Parker is holding on his lap? Parker, I don't want any heroics out of you, all right? Yeah, <laughs> that guy's not gonna do shit. He just wants to party and eat beef jerky. Just the ambiguity about this thing. I don't know where it hides. I don't know what that little beast was. I don't know where it came from. That's the terrifying part, the uncertainty. What is Parker Brent? Is Parker and where? <laughs> I'm confused why, like, the net is the thing that you need. Like, if he's got fucking skin that bleeds acidity and destruction, what is the net gonna do? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Wait, don't let him go! Okay. Cats. Pretty much aliens themselves. Just furry. They look like lions. Furry little aliens. Good, John Z. <laughs> Jonesy, get your fucking ass out here now. These older movies, like I say, right? It takes a while to get into them. They're, a lot of the scenes are slower. They're just like, have a longer build up and that adds to the intensity and adds to the scare factor for those jump scares. So in a way, these movies are pretty fucking scary just from like a jump perspective. Um, oh God, did it shed? Oh, shit. Also, random question, random thought. Why name the cat a last name, like Jones? I guess that's kind of, kind of cool. I'm more of a fan of weird first names for animals. Ralph, Edgar, Darwin. Pete or animal names. I would love. I, ha I would love to have a cat named Goose or a cat named Turtle. <laughs> what are you letting drip on your face, man? That's pee from the alien, isn't it? What is that? Maybe I'm super dense and don't get it. But like, why is it raining on a plane on a on a ship? Oh God. Oh my God. It. What? Wait. Was that the slime from it? Ew. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> the close-up of the cat. The close-up of the cat is fantastic. In the 70s, I guess they had to be what? very cautious of what they showed. I just saw some news article about a movie that is literally handing out barf bags now because people are passing out and vomiting while they're watching this gruesome nature of this new horror movie. Don't know what the hell it's called. Could Brett be alive? No. Something ripped out of his chest, right? The son of a bitch is huge. Who gets to go into the vent? I do. It sucks. You're supposed to help. Technology's supposed to help us. Like Siri. I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Bitch, what good are you? So is the alien growing to like gargantuan sizes? Are there multiple? Or is it one? Close all the hatches behind me. Close all the damn hatches? What happens if you're in there with that thing alone? Part of me thinks in, si in situations like that, if an alien actually popped out and I saw him like that, I would probably just immediately pass away or I would just pass out. All right. I'm going down. Dallas, you're gonna have to hold your position for a minute. I, I've lost the signal. Seriously? Oh, God, oh shit. It's moving right towards you. Oh shit, that is kind of scary, dude. Move, get out of there. Oh, oh fucking shit! Dallas? Oh, dude, these jump scares are real. The rest of the movie's not that creepy, like the music and any everything else is not scary, but the jump scares are on point. We'll proceed with Dallas's plan. What? And then they'll blight the others? Oh, what? And then they'll blight the others? The shuttle, and just get the hell out of here. We take our chances. Well, then why don't we trust, trust, I'm not going in these drawers. I'm for killing that goddamn thing right now. Draw straws. What a stupid suggestion. We know it's using yeah, the air the, shaft. The Will you listen to me, Parker? I guess we're just gonna Shut get- Shut up! Okay, sorry. I guess we're just gonna get eaten Let's by hear. the aliens. Shut up! It's using the air shafts. We'll move in pairs until we have it cornered and then we'll blow it the fuck out into space. Oh my gosh. Is that acceptable to you? Dude, that's badass. Ash? Any suggestions from you or Mother? No, we're still collating. What the hell does collating mean? I've got access to Mother now and I'll get my own answers, thank you. All right. Ash hadn't done shit. Ash didn't give a fuck. She's got beautifully blue eyes. Oh shit. Return that thing. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? I want to pay yourself for an explanation. Warden's not fucking around. Ash. Oh, oh Jesus. Ash, what the hell are you doing? Ash. Oh damn, her nose is bleeding. You open the door? Oh god, he's dripping white. Oh. Wait, is the alien inside of him? Or is he just a fucking freak? Ew, dude, why are you lactating from your face? Damn. <laughs> For some reason, I just got like a flash of like criminal minds. It looks like the beginning of like a Law and Order special victims unit. Ash went to party with a woman. Oh, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> What on God's green earth? Ew! Oh! <laughs> okay. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, what the hell? Ew, his head is just hanging on, bro. By like a flap. The company sent us a goddamn robot. They must have wanted the alien for the weapons division. Oh. That is disgusting. Did not expect that. Can you hear me? No, we can't hear you. His head is off of his body. Ew. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. What was your special order? Bring back life form all of the priorities are ascended. Wow. There's gotta be a way of killing it. How do we do it? Damn, his ear is low. Look at that. Is it? His ears look hella low. Perfect organism. No. That is not a perfect organism if it looks like you're just part of a casting couch. I can't lie to you about your chances. You have my sympathies. Ew. Weird fucking smile. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Blow up the ship. Good. 
<laughs> damn, where are they just getting all these high-powered weapons? You literally getting a bazooka or something? A damn rocket launcher. Where the hell are these coming from? God, that's weird. Yeah, well, can't say I wouldn't have done the same thing. When we throw the switches, how long before the ship goes? Ten minutes. You two go down, get all the coolant you can carry. I'll get the shuttle ready. About seven minutes. We'll blow this fucker off into space. <laughs> <laughs> I like this chick. She's rough around the edges, it's cool. We're gonna take this alien and jab him right in his Jingleheimer. We're blowing this bitch. Okay. I like this. Decisiveness is good. Y'all gonna make sure to take the cat with you or you're gonna blow that bitch up too? Jones? All right, every time we start looking for this cat, there's a jump scare right around the corner. Okay. How you doing? Okay. You see? Catch us off our guard, make us think that the jump scares are over. Now where's the real one? Where's the alien? Jones? I swear, Jones. a quarter of this movie is them looking for the cat. Why make it such a big point to look for the cat? I don't get it. Are they just trying to rescue him as well? Probably. <laughs> Fuck! Oh. Jesus. Get out of the way, Lannister! Move, bitch! We- What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh! Just water pouring from his mouth. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Oh. What the hell is happening? Damn. These people are getting killed one by one. Just do it. Just do it. You don't have any other choice. Come on. The emergency destruct system Good. is now activated. Good. That's what you had to do. The ship will detonate in T minus 10 minutes. I don't even really know how many guys are left. I feel the jump scare coming on. Three minutes. Okay. You got the flamethrower or the machine gun, either way start blasting them. Either use the gun for its purpose or drop it, ditch the extra weight and fucking run away. 20 seconds. 19, Wait, why are you putting, why are you doing that? Don't you want to blow it up? Oh, well you're fucked now. Mother! You bitch! <laughs> Okay, that's not gonna do a damn thing. And don't talk to your mother like that! Is she the only one left? I think she is. That would be actually terrifying. Be the only one left with that beast on the ship. So much trouble for this damn cat. <laughs> Sit there, Jones! <laughs> what the heck? One minute to abandon ship. Oh, no way. Bitch, you better go. D minus 30. Oh my god. The aliens, get, there's gonna be another one on her ship that she gets in, that she's in right now, right? That's probably how it's gotta end. The ship's gonna fucking blow up, she'll be all happy, and then frrr, fucking alien comes down. Three, two, one. Wow. If I just walked in on that scene and saw that happening right there, I didn't- I wouldn't know what the hell I was getting into. I got you. Did you? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Jones, you caused so much damn trouble. My gosh. Alright, it's nice to see you too. <laughs> Cats are such assholes. You do everything for them, you just nurture them and love them and- <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Trying to be affectionate. Stripping down to your skivvies. It's disgusting way to talk. Sorry about that. Warden, you better relax. Holes got a lot dirtier than I remember. Oh, Warden! Oh, well, there's the top of her asshole. Ah! Fuck! Ah! Oh my god, yep. <coughs> Just going right to sleep? You don't think that that alien can get through the glass? Okay. Ew, it's making disgusting sounds. Stop. 
It's disturbing. Oh my god, what is happening? Ew, what the hell? I can empathize with that. That big ass marshmallow, it's like the feeling of having covers on your bed and it's, you just feel protected. There's something about that. Oh shit, here we go. Oh my gosh, let's go. I'm so confused by what this alien wants. What's the purpose? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a sophisticated ass alien. It's like it's made of damn hydrocarbon and fucking platinum. Bitch, are you passing out from the fumes? Or are you just scared? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's like in fucking, uh, is it Avengers? It's like in Avengers whenever Peter Parker and Iron Man do that. Blow a hole in the ship and the fucking creature flies out. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. Only officer left. The other members of the crew are dead. Mm. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo. Wow. Now, a little logistical question. If she blows a hole in the fucking ship, how did, does she get... Was that a different part of the ship? Or how does she close it off? Right? Come on, Cap. I'm not sure. What's the end gonna be? She's gonna open her eyes or something? Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Not bad, dude. Really, really not bad. All right, now I, I have to give this a fair judging. I can't compare this movie to something like Interstellar with CGI. It was the first of its kind. All in all, the story, right? So this is a saga. This is like a, a group of movies, right? And this is the starting off point. This is the groundbreaking movie. And I think that in the 70s, the, the technology and the special effects and everything used to create this was like, cutting edge like holy shit can you believe this did you see alien so it's really cool from that perspective a lot of what i really liked about this movie was the ambiguity of it with horror movies a lot of times nowadays they do so much explaining and so much backstory that it like takes the horror out of it a lot of scary things in life are uncertain and this had that factor to it which was really interesting the alien itself looks fucking badass as well dude my one little hold up about this movie was just the slow pace of it and i get that that's a 70s thing that's like an old school movie it takes time to develop Develop, but nowadays with everybody's attention span, we want shit now. But all in all, looking at it in the vacuum of what it is, it's a really good movie. The jump scares, that slow build, that slow creep of the movie really added a lot to the jump scares. And then part of me thought that the cat was gonna be a fucking alien. I was like, is that where Men in Black gets this? Where the cat turns into a <laughs> type of thing? And I, I didn't really know what was going on there. But I cannot believe I forgot the end of it where it's like, I, I saw that happen in the, in the Marvel movie where Ship was blasted, alien flies out, and shit gets resolved. So, um, it'd be really interesting to see how this story develops. All in all, guys, I'm super stoked that you stopped by to check this movie out with me. And as always, guys, if you want the full-length movie reactions or the ability to vote in the polls to help me decide what we watch next, link to the Patreon will be at the top of the description. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Love y'all so damn much. Peace!